All right, you know what? I'm at work, but I just wanted to throw this down real quick. I'm working right. I've had, I took yesterday off because for some reason, I just didn't feel like doing it. And taking the day off helped. I mean, the return I got was worth taking the time off because I feel better. Not completely where I want to be, but mentally better. A lot of that, I believe, is because of the grind of answering the phone. Having people call you, oh, are my glasses reflective? Are they less reflective? These are the new less reflective glasses. The grind about doing this job is people calling you constantly needing something. I'm not a person who, how can I say, enjoys being of service to someone. Um... So when people are calling, I don't want to say they sound like they're whining because I understand the situation. Some of them are under a lot of pressure. I do have empathy, but it's the constant calling that may be the most cumbersome or difficult or irritating or agonizing or I wouldn't say hardest part. But the probably the hardest part to endure for me, the calling constantly, you know, and you don't really have a lot of time to take time to focus on an individual problem. For me, I'm about numbers. I'm about next call, next call, next call, next call. Um, the days of spending an hour, two hours trying to figure something out are over. And it's been over for almost six years now. It's like bang, 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 bang. I can send it to somebody else if I can't, you know, get the answer really quick. For me, is being on the phones has always been, you know, get to that next call. So it's, for me, it's the calling, you know, the, taking the calls. One of the things I love about life is that life is not straightforward. And in the Buddhist philosophy of suffering and what we have to go through in life, You know, what's considered good, what's considered bad, negative, positive, the whole range and scope of the things we have to go through and and endure and how we process and accept those or reject those things. Events are going to happen to you. Things are going to happen to you. You can either accept them or reject them. You can either deal with them or not. Ooh, the NFL draft is on. I better check to see what my Steelers did. I'm going to have to cut it on, but I'm working. See, when I'm working, I don't cut the TV on or nothing. You know, it's all about work, except for when I'm doing videos like this or something or working on that computer over there. But I don't cut the TV on and no music. Okay, back to the whole point. When I came into, like, the Buddhist philosophy and they, and I, from what I got from their explanation of suffering and what we need to endure and what we have to do, endure, and I read other, you know, new agey philosophies about how we perceive things and how we take things in and how we may or may not allow external events and people and energies to affect us. That means two people can look at the same thing. One person can be frightened to death of it. The other person can be excited about it. So it's all up to the individual. And I say all that to say this. I took yesterday off. I kind of regressed into myself. I went to my little Jeffrey's place probably slept a little too much because i started work late today so i really slept in today and i'm starting to regress in more and more and more to where you know the idea of going out and socializing or being with people or talking to people i'm like yeah i could just go home and eat and watch tv but i did schedule a recording session for this saturday so i'm gonna have some people over Instead of another weekend of just Jeffrey, you know, just have people over, see how that goes and not have that time, not have so much free time to where I can just lay around and indulge and, you know, fall down into that pit of isolation that I sometimes enjoy so much. So back to the whole job thing. I found it interesting that I may or may not have come to the conclusion 
that the very thing about this job that may bug me or irk me or irritate me the most or may be the most cumbersome or the thing that I point to every time I just don't feel like doing it may be the thing that keeps me interested in this job. The actual interaction with people, the forced interaction with people, dealing with people daily, having them call, hearing that voice, hearing that, you know, them asking, them needing help, me being able to give them that help. Sometimes quickly, sometimes it's more difficult, sometimes it racks my brain and I got to really think to figure out how to get it done. But I got the idea that the very thing that I might think is the most unfulfilling and irritating part of my job may be the part of the job that keeps me going and keeps me interested. Because usually after this much time at a job, I'm done. Usually after this much time at a job, I'm like, I had done everything, mastered everything, and I'm ready to move on. And one, this job is way too much, way too challenging to do that. Um, I've never worked at a place like this where I have so much, my scope is so wide and the responsibility for us is so deep that, um, and there's people who've been doing this for years and years and years. And so I guess the whole point I was trying to make is that in my admiration and love of my existence and the fact that I even love the things that I don't like and how I accept basically everything. I even accept the things I reject. And I said that to be all uh, provocative, but it comes down to really not rejecting anything. You can avoid something. You can, you know, put it out of your life, stay away from it, isolate yourself from it. But everything needs to be dealt with. And if you deal with uh, the way I I deal with everything head on one way or the other, resolve the conflict right then and there, make a decision and then go forward with that decision. So for me, there are very few bad things in life. There are very few things that are in my life that bug me or irritate me or rub me the wrong way. Almost to the point I miss it sometimes. I'm telling y'all life can get too easy. Life can get too easy. I'm not saying that I'm living that life, but I can imagine. I can imagine if I was like super rich and didn't have to work and didn't have to do anything. That probably wouldn't work for me. So the day to day grind when I'm walking all those steps every day and how I can't eat anything I want. I don't want to be able to eat anything I want. I don't want to lay around when I go on vacation. I don't want to go to the tropics, to lay on a beach and do nothing. That's not my idea of a vacation. I like to be doing something functioning and when I do relax and or hibernate or bring things in so I can rejuvenate or recuperate it's usually in my sanctuary I am not a tropical beach vacation person I know I went off on a tangent but the whole idea again was I'm looking at my job and the, and it's funny that the very thing that I may that may irritate me and I complain about the most may be the thing that keeps me going in this job. That grind. I think we all need it. I think we all need that friction. We need some kind of friction in moderation. Some people have too much friction. Some people's lives are just out of control. Some people are in situations that uh, I don't know how the hell they continue every day. But I think we all need a function or a minimal or a certain amount friction and moderation. We need a grind. 
And uh, mine's is answering the phone. And it may be that one thing that keeps me going at this job. Ain't that peculiar? Peculiar as can be. The Shaka Khan version. Anyway, my name is Jeffrey, and I'm out.